In our current day and age, the study of occult and spiritual topics is as veiled in symbolism as it ever has been. This veil is meant to dissuade and confuse the uninitiated. Many people confused about what this or that means and using words as if they were mere toys instead of examining the meanings that are behind them. Look, before I start ranting, I'll ask this question. What is the difference between duality and polarity? First and foremost, the words duality and polarity are not interchangeable. The nature of the dynamics that they are describing do most certainly have their similarities, but as I've said before, two things that are similar are not the same. Duality and polarity are two different descriptions describing two different densities of unity. And further yet, how those different densities of unity interact with themselves at different levels. Said differently, a unity is a whole composed of units. Units within a unity interact with each other dynamically, depending on the quantity of units involved. A unity with only one unit doesn't do much interacting with itself, aside from being itself. Such is the nature of the all. This almost goes without saying, but I say it, however, to shed light on the difference between a unity that has either two units or four units. If the subject is duality, then it's a discussion about a unity that possesses two units. If the subject is polarity, then it is a discussion about a unity that possesses four units. The relationships that are generated by these units that are in these unities creates a dynamic. These dynamics have been and are represented as symbolisms that have veiled many bodies of wisdom throughout the ages. In terms of duality or the twofold pattern, the emphasis is that you are dealing with two units in a unity. Whereas in a previous segment, I described the qualities of the quantity two as being illusion. Here, I will use a more commonplace representation from among what are called the seven hermetic principles. Here, our focus is on the second of those seven principles, which is known as the law of correspondence. Here, being built upon the foundations established by the omnipotent singularity of the all, correspondence becomes that which will link anything other than the all to the all, thereby giving way to ideas like as above, so below. The takeaway here to remember is that without a below, there is very little necessity for an above. Allowing concepts such as without to give definition to other concepts such as within. Duality can be defined as the quality or state of having two different or opposite parts or elements. Once again, the point to be remembered is that these two opposing positions define one another in both their nature and being. A great example of this dynamic is expressed within the system of the four elements. The first of those two elements being fire and water. Where fire is hot, water is cold. Where fire is bright, water is dark. Where fire is focused, centered, and active, water is dispersed, encapsulating, and passive. The opposing natures of these elements give definition to one another, which is what is meant when I say that they define each other. Most importantly, however, is that the dynamics of and between fire and water also serve to give rise to the remaining two elements.